What's up? Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, we are Kristen and Michael. We have a short-term rental business. We've been doing it for about a year now, and we've been solely on Airbnb. But if you have been following us, you've seen us DIY renovate our house. You've seen us go through a lot of personal changes and get this business up and running. I'm just gonna switch it up on you today because this is something that I think every short-term rental host should have is a direct booking website just because why not why not give people the option to book again like if let's say we use airbnb as a discovery tool and people like your place they want to come back they can do this and you can capture all of that information you can get their email you know you can be in direct contact with them because it could lead to bookings years out why don't we dive into this This took a while. This has taken the last month of us kind of like picking apart what it all entails because it kind of entails a lot and there's a lot of different moving pieces. So hopefully we can clarify some of that for you. When I started this search, I was kind of like the one, I'm the nerd. What I did was I went to, of course, YouTube and Google to try and find like somebody else that had done this. And this is kind of why we're making this video. Hopefully we can we can show you what it was like. So that it empowers you to be more independent and do it on your own versus relying on other people to basically bring yeah. income into your business. So let's let's get into it. Okay, so I started my search just broadly on YouTube, on Google, just figuring out what the best platform is. I thought about making a Squarespace and then adding like an external widget booking feature so that I could have more control over the website, more control over the, like the look and feel of it. But then I realized that I would have to be paying for two services, a website, and then like another external booking website. So that'd be like two payments. I was really looking for like an all-in-one solution. There are a couple great solutions out there. The one that we ended up going with is called Logify. This is not an ad, um, just telling you what we used. Although there is a sign up link down below. If you want to sign up with our link, it helps us out. Basically what it is, it's an all-in-one place where you can have your own domain name, build a website, get bookings, connect your Airbnb to it, connect your VRBO to it. Um, you can sell merch, you can do all this stuff, but essentially it's like a hub. You can control what goes out to your Airbnb listings, but then also you can do direct booking. So it is like the best all-in-one solution I found with the most customizable options to make our website not look like a two stock standard of one. And then you can go crazy with the HTML code if you know that kind of stuff. So the first thing that you can do is you can sign up for Logify for free. They give you seven days and you can kind of poke around with it, see if you like it. That's what I did. I started building the website. I started seeing what the features were. And then somebody from Logify actually called me and said, hey, saw you did the trial. If you have any questions, you know, can I answer them? And actually here's that phone call. It was super helpful because I did have a couple questions. So this is what I got from that phone call. Um, and right now we're using Price Labs for dynamic pricing. Um, and so how do you typically recommend, cause like, I would like to keep the dynamic pricing on easy fix. So price lab account will be set up through once you have a, a Logify account, uh -huh. you will then connect the price labs account to your Logify account. All pricing will then go through Logify and sent to Airbnb. So you'll get the same effect. It's just that price labs will be connected to Logify and pushed out to Airbnb. So essentially, I got clarity on kind of how the flow of it works. You have to tell Price Labs to tell Logify, then Logify tells Airbnb. So Logify kind of acts as this like main hub that sends information out to everywhere else, if you want to think about it that way. Let's say we want to block off dates. We would block it off in Logify. So that is cool. So you only need to use one service. You still need to go into Airbnb for certain things if you want to change photos, if you want to change like your title and description on there as well. After that, I actually saw the, the value of it and I decided to go ahead and pay for the yearly fee. And then once I signed up, I got notified that I get two phone calls with a specialist from Logify to help set up the entire account. Okay, so after you pay for the subscription, you're going to book a call with a specialist so they can help you set up everything. Okay, so now let's dive into the website. I am going to go through and build the website. Um, as you can see, I've already kind of started this here, um, just transferring information over from the Airbnb page. You can pull information directly from Airbnb once you link your account 
It pulls a lot of that information. There's two, two options to do it. You can automatically fill in the information or you can manly, manually fill it in if you wanna do that way. I manually filled it in because I didn't wanna screw anything up with our Airbnb. But what I'm going to go in to do now is on the left side here, you can add your business name and logo. You can add colors, fonts, background. So I am just gonna go through and make this look the way that I want it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went through and I added the fonts that I wanted. I chose these fonts and this is just the sample website right now. But one thing I think is cool about this website is they use Google fonts. So what you can do is you can go to the Google fonts website, look through, let's say you like Roboto condensed. So all you have to do is right here when you're under the design tab, you can go in here and you can search Roboto and then select it right there. And then that's how you can figure out all the fonts that you want. So now I'm going to go into the pages section of this website. And so on the left side here, you'll see your navigation, um, which will be kind of like, yeah, the navigation for your website. All of these right here are widgets that you can move around. You click this, you can move this over here, this over here, you move this over here. So, and then when you go to preview your website, you can see these are the widgets right here. So to change this stuff, we will go in and add our content right here. Okay, so now be like, I'm just gonna fill in some information right now. Save. Okay, so now you can see as we start to build it, how it's gonna look down here. So I'm gonna go through and fill this out. Feel free to go through and do this. Um, and I'm gonna move on to the next step. But in here, you can see, you can add just text, you can add a heading, you can add images, a slideshow, videos, featured rentals. If you have more than one, you can insert HTML. Um, so yeah, you can add all of this stuff on your homepage of your website or on any page. Some of the other things you can do is rearrange the order of your menu up at the top um, just by clicking and dragging. We can add a footer down here and we can add just pages that aren't linked down there as well. Um, and when you're done doing all of this stuff on your website, you could then press publish right here, or you could press view a preview version or view the live version before you wanna publish any changes. To get into like the real meat of all of the stuff, it's kind of buried. So I figured I would tell you how you get into it is you go to rentals and then you select your house and then in here, is where you can see all of the information about the house, the overview, the photos, the location. Uh, I need to go through and add descriptions on here still, I guess. All of your booking settings, instant booking here, you can change all of that in here. Check in, check out times, advance notice, booking windows. So all of that is done in here. Contact, operational placeholders, which is like the check-in instructions that get sent, the check-out instructions that get sent, the rules, all of that stuff lives under here. And then over here you have your rates. If you don't use smart pricing, you can set your rates in here. You can do promotions in here as well. You can do any add-ons. If you wanna add on anything to like a listing, if let's say firewood is an extra $20 or $10, you can add on that kind of stuff at checkout, which is great. And then you have your sync settings where you'll see our, a our Airbnb is connected, but in here you'll see the Expedia and the booking.com. But yeah, th this is where you can get real into the depths of your listing. The first onboarding call, what we did was we set up the connection to Airbnb, the connection to any other external sites you wanna use like VRBO, booking.com. Um, you can also import calendars and stuff like that. With the package that we chose, we got a domain name and a website. So in that first phone call, we chose our website name. Um, they set it up for us. Didn't really have to do anything. The lady was very lovely and just walked us through all the all the steps so the cool thing is is you can go on this first call kind of set up everything you want and then have time to tinker because then like a week later they call you back while they connect all the api on the back end and then in that meantime we use it to fill out our website get all the information that we wanted um, it's really nice because you can have a home page and then an overview page that has all pulls all of your information from Airbnb. It's really cool. You can adjust the colors, you can adjust all that stuff. So we did that in that week in between our two calls. 
And then after a week, we had the second call where they double checked that the website was, was ready to go live and helped us with any other questions that we had, made sure like our calendars weren't messed up anywhere and that all of the smart pricing was working and all that stuff and answered any other questions that we had. So a couple of the other really cool things that we like about Logify is uh, the ability to have reviews on your website. There are external widgets that you can pay for to embed your Airbnb reviews on the website as well. Another thing is you can automate like check-in, check-out instructions just like you can in Airbnb. If you have direct booking guests, that all that is built in. There are more high-tiered features, I think. There's like property management features that you can get with like higher packages that if you have like a whole team and a bunch of different properties, you can use that as well. I do have like past experience with Squarespace, so I kind of knew my way around setting up the website and stuff like that, but it felt like on the onboarding call, the team can help you with any questions that you have on how to you know, get yours up and running. There's tons of great templates that they have that you can literally just connect it with your Airbnb and be done if you want to. But we went in and gave it more of a customized feel and I still haven't touched all of the features and I'm going to go in and play around a little bit more. All in all, our website is now up and live and we are excited to share it with family and friends, share it on our socials and hopefully get some direct bookings from this. So if I missed anything, let me know in the comments down below, but Logify seems to be a really good solution when you're setting up like a direct booking website for your short-term rental, mid-term rental even. There's a lot of really cool features in there. We have just started our journey with it, but I'm sure we'll learn a lot more as we go along. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments down below. And uh, thank you so much for watching.